An initiative to improve communications for the church is turning 25 years old. The Pontifical University of the Holy Cross runs the program and has helped to train hundreds of people. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser recently spoke with the dean of the school to learn more about the program and what comes next. We're here on the rooftop of the Santa Croce University in the heart of Rome, right next to Piazza Navona. With me is Daniel Arasa, the Dean of the School of Church Communications for, of Santa Croce, which is celebrating this year its 25th anniversary. Mr. Arasa, can you tell us a little bit more about the School of Church Communication? When we were born 25 years ago, there were no uh, communications offices in many church institutions. So we, we realized that there was a need for that. So we are trying to form people that will be in charge of communications for church institutions, bishops' conferences, dioceses, religious congregations, also in the nonprofit, and also covering the church as journalists. But there is a need for professionalization, and this is what we are trying to offer here. In an age of digitalization, what are the most important things that you are teaching your students today? Essentially, uh, many of the things are the same because the, the history of the church, the contents, the, the teachings of the church are always the same. But certainly the time, uh, the time change, communications change, and we need to offer, for example, a better understanding of the a culture of dialogue in the, in the, in the in this digitalized world where there is so, the social media and there is a, an intense dial, de, debate. Sometimes we have to offer them and to help them to know how to listen, how to accept criticism, to offer feedback, etc. What do you feel are the most important things that the church needs to communicate today and in the next 25 years? One of the elements, probably one of the most important, is the culture of dialogue. There is a, we, we are in a society very, very polarized, not just because of the war, which certainly is an, a manifestation, a cruel manifestation of this polarization, but in politics, in society, in the economy. And the church can be an example of dialogue. Certainly needs to improve also in, in, and applies this, this culture of dialogue, of dialogue within the church. But I think the Pope is trying to do this, for example, with the Synod, but with many other actions. And probably this is one of the most important things in communications for the church in the next, in the next years. You also engage in research projects. Can you tell us a little bit more about the academic side, the scientific side of the school here? Of course, as a school of, of communications, we try also to improve and to, and to develop uh, research. We created in 2006 a journal, Church Communication and Culture. It's a journal in English, open access journal, published by Trowledge. And with these journals, we try, I mean, I think it's very interesting the name of the journal. The, these three elements, church, communication, and culture, are like a triad that shows the nature and the interdisciplinary approach of the journal. Still in some environments, uh, church communication is seen as something churchy, preachy, just for priests, which is not true at all. And we want with this journal and, and with our, our research to put the church communications discipline at the same level of any other social science. Daniel Arasa, thank you so much. A very important topic today, not only here in Rome, but around the world, communicating the gospel, communicating the church. Thank you.